Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Doreen Nekesa and in this video I'm going to give you factors that determined the naming of a baby in my lawyer land. I hope you love this content. If you've not subscribed, remember to subscribe and let's get right into the video. The number one factor that determined the naming of a baby is the season. I'm going to give a few examples of names of babies that were named after uh, who are named or born during a particular season. For example, my name is Nekesa. My name is Nekesa. Nekesa means I was born during the harvesting season. So Nekesa harvesting. If I were a boy, I'm a woman. I'm a girl. If I were a boy, I would be named Nekesa. But a, a man can also be named Nekesa, especially if they are being named after somebody like their grandmother or their auntie who was called Nekesa. So let's focus on the, the season first. We'll get into the ancestor uh, factor later on in this video. Please stay with me up to the end. So Nekesa is a baby that was born during a harvesting season. The male counterpart is called Wekesa. If you are born during the weeding season, you'll be called Naliaka. If you're a boy, you'll be called Wanyonyi. That is during the weeding season. If you are called during plowing season, you will be called Nelima for a girl, Welima for a boy. But there are other, not every Luya tribe follows this structure. We just have few differences, but most of them are actually similar. And if you're born when there is hunger, which we popularly call Femine, if you're born when there is Femine, you'll be called Nanjala for a girl and Wanjala for a boy. There are those who say Nanzala, Nanjala, Wanjala, Wanzala, depending on the sub tribe, the Luya sub tribe that you come from. If you are born, for example, during a rainy season, you'll be called Nafula for a girl and Wafula for a boy. And if you are born during a harvesting season and you're a boy, you'll be called Narotso or Nyarotso depending on which Luya subtribe. For a girl, you'll be called Nahumecha. Nahumecha or Nahumecha, depending on the Luya subtribe again. Like for example, my, my, my case is Nekesa. My mother named me Nechesa. Nechesa is according to the Wanga people and the, the Wanga people, my, my mother is a Wanga. Nekesa is according to the Bukusu people. So it depends with where you come from. That is what determines the letters of that uh, the, the letters of the of the name so if you are born during a drought you'll be called Simiu for a boy Nasimiu for a girl another factor that determines the naming of babies is the period that the baby is born if a baby was born in the morning for example they'll be called Akini or Okini if they were born uh, when it is sunny they'll be called Kubasu it can be sunny or it can be in the morning, then they'll be called kubasu. If they are born at sunset, they'll be called wabuire or wawire, depending on which Luya subtribe again. And some names were shared, for example, like we have Otieno among the Luas and Otieno among the Luas. You get the pronunciation difference? Otieno and Otieno. That is the pronunciation different. Another factor that determines the naming of babies is the period in which the baby is born. For example, when, it's, when there is a major event, there is a major event when a baby is born, the, the, the baby will be named after that event. For example, babies who are born during political events or during big events, like for example, I remember when Kibaki was becoming the president of Kenya, there are babies who are born and they were named Kibaki. Yes, they are baby who were born and they were named Kibaki. And the time when Barack Obama became the president of the United States, there are babies who are born who are called Obama. There are babies who are called Obama today, by the way. And babies who are born around the same time when Obama became president, there are baby girls who are born and they are called Michelle. Yes. And then we also have um, 
babies who are named after parties during that time when Kenya 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 was uh, becoming either one one party state or a multiple party states there are babies who are called Ford I have a cousin who is called Ford I have a neighbor who is called Ford I mean I just find the names Ford interesting somebody is just called Ford another person is just called Kanu I mean really yes so naming can also be done um can also be determined by the period that the things that are happening at the time when the baby is born another determining factor of how a baby is named in luya land is according to the ancestral ancestral traits so if you are born and you have the traits of your auntie who is late for example you'll be called after your auntie if you have the traits of your if you look like your grandmother who is late will be named after your grandmother so usually after the birth of a baby the baby is the ta- is examined the features the physical features if you have your eyes your ears your nose your behavior whether you like crying or not that will determine who you're going to be named after so if you cry a lot you may be named after somebody who used to cry a lot but again there are some babies who refuse names they cry a lot until the names the name is changed and this is how they determine whether to name a baby or not if a baby is not named after let's say if a baby is named or if an ancestor or somebody a relative of yours who died and they want to be named um when the baby is born these ancestors according to the luya culture will make the baby cry a lot so this baby the ancestors are going to make the baby cry a lot so that the baby is named after them you get it but babies are only named after good ancestors those who had good traits if you had bad traits like you are a, a, a witch doctor or you are an itrana or you are a thief nobody will name a baby after you so only those who are good in the community will have babies named after them and during the naming process the babies who are crying they will suddenly keep quiet when the names of the ancestors that want to be named after them are mentioned this is quite interesting and some babies in some families some babies are named according to how the predecessors are for example if you had a baby and if you if you had babies or if you had a baby and that baby died and you had another baby then they will determine what to call that baby that baby will be will be known by a very ugly name for example there are babies who are called there are people who are called kundu there are people who are called tabu there are people who are called um masumbuko there are people who are called makoha like my brother is called makoha um because he was the first boy to be born by my not really the first boy but my mother had a son and the son died my brother died so when she had another baby boy they decided to name him makoha it doesn't mean that when your baby is named a bad name like a, a name like kundu is an ogre If your baby is named a name like Kundu it doesn't mean that you don't like your baby or Nemo or your baby is not is is actually an ogre it means that if the baby is named an ugly name the spirit of death will be scared by that ugly name that is culture actually that is culture so the baby will be scared the, the spirit of death will be scared by the baby's ugly name and it will not touch the baby so the baby will live and sometimes babies will be named according to their age sets according to their age sets maybe at that time babies were being named a certain a particular name that name will be given to the babies who are born who are all born during a particular time i don't know whether you know but sometimes if you look through the age how people are growing up how people are you will notice that there is a name that is common among the a different a particular ages So that means that that name was given to them at that time it was very common among the age among their age of the time when they were born. And I want to also note that when it comes to naming among the Luya people somebody doesn't have one name. I mean you cannot just have one name and bear that name throughout your throughout your I mean your life. you have you have different names and people are free to call you by any names like for example i have so many names and there are those names that i was given nobody calls them 
and they are long forgotten and mostly people just get to remember especially with this technology area where people are going to school people get to remember the names that are on your certificate or the official names that you use like for example i'll give you an example of my dad my dad has so many names and the name that he uses depends with where he's going and who is calling him people refer to him by different names like for example my mom my mom the way she's referred to at their own place at my uncle's place where she was born is very different with how she's referred to where she's married so names in luyaland are very they are not so they are very people attach a lot of meaning to names and a name is not just one name somebody can have as many names as they can and usually these names are very very significant you can acquire names as you grow up you can have a name as you grow up you have another name people keep giving you names as you grow up until old age you can have so so many names that have meaning attached to them if you'd like to understand more or to learn more about the luya culture and language please click this playlist here and learn more about the luya culture and language and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any video when i upload it